Luckily, we were inside and not out in the rain today for a WACBA clash down in Dudley as Nichols hosted Anna Maria women's basketball. We picked this one up in the first quarter. Nichols up three. Mariah Carey, the Worcester native, nails a three to tie it up. Nichols, Chiari Formby Lavertu. With the steal, she feeds Shannon St. Lawrence for the layup, and Nichols goes up four. Second quarter now, Nichols good passing around the horn. Formby Lavertu with the give and go. She gets the hoop and harm. Nichols goes up seven. Nichols. Isabella Nerny from Beyond the Arc. She nails that three. Anna Maria now shot off the mark. Haley Moore, another Worcester native for the rebound and put back. Mar uh, Anna Maria down eight. Amcats. Francesca Hammond, another Worcester native. The long jumper, they're down six. Nichols, unselfish, finding Nerny for the three. Bison, extending their lead to eight. Anna Maria showing off the defense. Moore with the big swat. Anna Maria, Sierra Johnson with the pull-up jumper, Amcats down six, and Nichols, Michaela, Fidian, G. Antonio, drains a three. Nichols goes on to win this, 62 to 57. Lemonster head football coach Dave Palazzi was hired as the school's new athletic director back in June. With the new title, Palazzi had to step back from his coaching duties. His final game leading the Blue Devils was Wednesday night as they beat rival Fitchburg 36-0. Now he starts the process of hiring the coach who will replace him. Most that and anybody that comes in, we want to get somebody. Obviously, it's a difficult job. I think uh, you know the, the the job in itself is more than just uh, coaching football in, in these different schools in Fitchburg and Lemonster. And uh, you know it's going to take a while to to find the right person, but we'll we'll get it. We'll find it. It's a job that has already drawn a lot of interest from other top coaches in the area. Palazzi says the position was posted today. The state final frenzy is coming your way on Saturday. We'll have all the highlights from Gillette Stadium as Neshoba, Nipmuc, BBT, and St. Bernard's all go for a state title. Plus, we'll have a full recap on the season. Coverage begins at 10.30 p.m. on Saturday, December 1st, right here on Charter TV 3, channel 776. Over the weekend, a big showdown at Chestnut Hill. Former St. John standout Davon Jones being recognized along with former Shepherd Hill standout Chris Lindstrom for Boston College on their senior day. The accolades continue to come in for Lindstrom. He was named the All-ACC first team today, and he also accepted an invitation to the Reese Senior Bowl, capping off a great collegiate career, and Tommy Sweeney's fan club going strong in Chestnut Hill as well. Scoreless in the first quarter, BC's A.J. Dillon breaking, breaking free. He's brought down by Andre Sisco at the 15-yard line, a nice 16-yard gain by the sophomore running back. Later in the drive, Anthony Brown rolling. He fires to the end zone, finding the tight end, Jake Burt. The Eagles go up 7-0. Second quarter now. 21-7 Syracuse. Brown's pass is complete to Jeff Smith. He takes off down the field, nothing but green ahead of him. He's into the end zone and Andy Lacombe's camera. 69-yard touchdown brings the Eagles within seven with three minutes to go in the first half. But the Orange were too much for the Eagles as they go on to win 42-21. Now, it wasn't the outcome that our guy, Chris Lindstrom, wanted on his senior day, but as our Andy Lacombe reports, the offensive lineman still has one game left and he has a lot to be thankful for. Former Shepherd Hill star Chris Lindstrom's come a long way in his four years at Boston College, from an undersized offensive lineman as a freshman to one of the best in the country as a senior. And the Central Mass guy reflected on his senior day on his years at Boston College. I'm just thankful for this senior experience. You know, we were able to have college game day and be able to play down at Florida State, at Virginia Tech, you know, and it's been a lot of tough, a lot of tough games, a lot of great games, and so being able to experience that is something I won't forget, and I'm thankful I played in the ACC. It was a great, great team uh, experience, and I'm just thankful for the four years I've had at BC and the impact that this place has had on me and my family, and I'm just very grateful to be a part of the BC family. This was Lindstrom's last game at the Heights, but not his last collegiate football game. Boston College is going to a bowl, and so that means Chris will have one more chance to put the pads on and represent BC and another chance to impress potential NFL teams. Andy Lacombe, Worcester News Tonight Sports.
Now, Chris Lindstrom was selected to the New England Football Writers All New England team, and joining him is Holy Cross senior linebacker Ryan Brady. Brady led the Crusaders with 121 total tackles this season. He finishes his career with 258 tackles, including 29 for a loss. Brady was also selected to the All Patriot League team and earned academic All Patriot League honors. That is sports. That's good stuff. So, Brent, I have to ask you, are you a Christmas music before Thanksgiving or after? After. Like, after the meal on Thanksgiving, it is Christmas music all the time. See, I don't know. It's I feel like for me, it's whatever year I'm feeling most spirited <laughs> that I want to put it on, you know? Well, I try. I mean, sometimes you can't fight it. Like, you'll hear it, and then you'll be like, okay, and then you'll like start singing along to yeah. it. But it's I try. And, I mean, this year it's great because it's a longer Christmas yes, season. So yes. you can enjoy the music a lot more. So I don't feel as bad waiting until Thanksgiving. But sometimes, you know, when it's late in November, you're like, oh, I really want to listen. I know. It's a little it's a little more tough then. That's true. Sometimes you just, like, sprinkle it in yeah. between the other songs. Yeah, that that's true. To. That's true. We can do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that's going to do it for us here on Worcester News Tonight. For Brenda Wilson, I'm Anna Botari. We'll see you back here tomorrow.